I'm coming to you today to share important updates on a variety of topics, and I'm hoping this information answers some of your questions and alleviates some of your concerns. Several parents, students, and staff have asked about the length of the emergency closure. On Monday, March 16th, a collaborative decision was made with superintendents throughout the Region 4 area to close our schools through Friday, April 10th. Our plan is to meet again on April 6th to reassess. Depending upon how widespread the virus is within our community, we could return to school on Monday, April 13th, or our closure could be extended. Yesterday, Governor Greg Abbott issued an executive order and mandated the temporary closure of all schools across Texas until Friday, April 3rd. He and his team will reevaluate and he may extend the closure of our schools in the state depending on the status of COVID-19 and recommendations of the CDC. If the closure is extended, you will be notified immediately by phone and email, and it will be posted on our district webpage and social media resources. While Dickinson ISD is emergency closed, your children will receive instructional support at home. Some of this may require technology, however, paper supports will be provided as well. District and campus staff have been working diligently to quickly adjust to this new instructional reality. A link has been added to the district webpage that contains online resources, offline resources for enrichment, and special education learning resources. Each Friday, beginning today, a document will be posted for pre-K through 8th grade for parents and students to access. This document will outline the TEKS and resources to be used for the following week's learning. Direct communication will be provided to high school students by their teachers. Along with this, teachers will regularly update their web pages with specific instructions and activities, and teachers will be in contact with students for support with activities and assignments. Each campus has a plan for the distribution of paper instructional supports, and if you have not already heard from your campus principal or teachers, you should be hearing from them soon. Parents of students receiving special services will be receiving a letter from the executive director explaining the special services instructional support plan. Yesterday, a technology survey was emailed to all parents. It is also posted on our district webpage. Please be sure to complete the survey as soon as possible so that we have a better assessment of the technology available to students at home. If you are in need of your child's passwords for the online resources, please contact your child's teacher and that information will be provided. If you are not receiving emails or phone calls from me or your child's school, Please make sure your contact information in Skyward is correct. To ensure your children are able to get the most out of their instructional home support, we are carefully planning how to effectively deliver our curriculum and how teachers will consistently lead learning and provide support. Please be patient with our staff as we navigate through this uncharted territory. We will do our best to make this instructional transition effective and supportive for our students. Reading for enjoyment is essential for becoming a good reader and a good writer. Students should be reading every day, and if they want a read aloud experience, the Dickinson Education Foundation is here to help. Throughout the year, Many families have accessed the weekly Gator Tales provided by the Dickinson Education Foundation. This fun read aloud experience will continue for students while the district is closed. Go to the Dickinson Education Foundation Facebook page every Tuesday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. and enjoy the read aloud experience with your children. Community leaders, teachers, and students are some of the special guest readers who will be sharing books. 
If you would like to be a guest reader, send an email to our Education Foundation and we will get you scheduled. Several days ago, Governor Abbott announced the cancellation of all STAR assessments. Some of you may be worried if you have a senior who still must complete an end of course exam to graduate. Don't let this be one of your worries. For students who are still working to meet assessment requirements as seniors in the 2019-2020 school year, required performance on academic assessments to graduate is being waived for spring 2020. Effectively, this means that current seniors may graduate through the IGC, Individual Graduation Committee, process. Dickinson High School will be in contact with students who will need an IGC. Some parents of students who are currently enrolled in English 1, English 2, Algebra 1, Biology, and U.S. History have asked when these EOC exams will be given since they are required for graduation. You don't need to worry either. TEA will not hold future graduates responsible for meeting the assessment graduation requirement on 2020 end of course exams if they earn credit for the course this year. So please make sure your high school students are paying attention to the assignments and activities provided by their teachers the next few weeks. I know many of you have concerns about grades and promotion requirements. I will be meeting with our administrative team and other superintendents and I will be providing you with information regarding both of these topics as soon as possible. Some of our students may be registered for college entrance exams. The College Board has canceled the March 28th and May 2nd SAT test and the ACT has been rescheduled from April 4th to June 13th. The College Board is developing tools to mitigate the impact of school closures on students in our Advanced Placement Program. All AP students and teachers will be able to access and use the free online resources provided to every AP classroom in the fall semester. Additional resources will be made available to AP students through mobile phones and other devices. These resources will include free online AP lessons and review sessions from some of the top AP teachers in the country. Additionally, the AP program is finalizing streamlined AP options that would allow students to test at home depending on the situation in May. The College Board AP program will communicate the details of these added solutions very soon and we will make sure our AP students are provided with this information. The University Interscholastic League previously communicated that all UIL activities are suspended until March 30th. Given the information related to school closures, the UIL announced yesterday that they are extending the time frame. UIL games and contests will resume no earlier than Monday, May 4th. This is subject to change depending upon the situation. For the families of our seniors, the coronavirus pandemic has disrupted major events and we have uncertainties for the remainder of the school year. I know this is weighing heavy on your heart and mind because our seniors have spent 13 years preparing for this special time in their lives. Right now, graduation 2020 is still on schedule for May 21st. However, pending extension of the school closure dates, this may need to be reevaluated. Please rest assured that I, the Board of Trustees, and Dickinson High School administration and staff are dedicated to helping our seniors have a very special experience as they complete high school. Dr. Billy Smith, principal at Dickinson High School, will keep the families of our seniors informed every step of the way. This week, our food and nutrition staff have done an outstanding job preparing and distributing meals for school-aged children. We will continue to provide these meals for all school-aged children throughout the closure. If you have not taken advantage of the free meals, come to Dickinson High School Monday through Friday 
from 11 o'clock a.m. until 12 noon. If your school-aged children are not in your vehicle, be sure to bring their school ID or lunch account number. While our students remain out of school, some may be asking more questions about COVID-19. Our counselors have assembled a variety of resources for talking with children, and they are available on the district website. This resource page also includes information on cyberbullying, behavior management, stress management, and dealing with anxiety. Please take a few minutes to look at the resources the counselors have compiled for parents. As we continue to deal with the COVID-19 situation, please know that we are in daily conference calls with the Commissioner of Education, daily conference calls with the Galveston County Health District, and frequent calls with the Region 4 Education Support Center. In Dickinson ISD, we are committed to making every effort to ensure our students receive instructional support at home so that they can remain engaged in learning. And our goal is to provide you with the most current information as it becomes available. We are very grateful for your continued support as we strive to keep our students, staff, and community healthy and safe. And we sincerely appreciate your patience and your prayers.